Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. I apologize for the mess in the background. I'm working on lubing some keyboard switches at the moment, but in today's video, as you guys can see by the thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Travis Scott banner for your Twitter profile. And as of recently, I've been including templates, so there will be a template for this one as well. I know a lot of you guys have been loving that. I will also include a bunch of extra stuff, as you guys can see here on my desktop, that I will talk about once we get into the actual video. But before we get too far, if you guys haven't already, gone ahead and hit that like button and also also subscribe to the channel I would greatly appreciate it every time you guys smash the like button on certain videos it lets me know that that's what you guys want to see more of so I appreciate the recent support on a lot of the tutorials in general and we'll go ahead and just jump into today's video All right, so the first thing that you guys are gonna want to do, head to the link in the description. There will be a Google Drive link at the very top. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that and download everything that's in there. I will include the template. As well as that, I'm gonna include some extra stuff that I use to actually make the template because I know you guys like want to know how to actually make it. So I'll include a lot of the stuff that I use. As well as that, the text that you guys saw that I'm going to show you guys how to do is very specific and you guys are gonna need some assets for that as well. Make sure you guys go ahead and download everything and just drag it to your desktop. It makes it a Lot easier once that is done make sure to go ahead and head to the link in the description or just type in pixlr and you can just hop into the website and from here we're going to go to pixlr e as usual we're going to go to create new and then for pretty much every other twitter header um it's pretty much the same thing we're just going to go ahead and type in 1500 for the width and then we're going to type in 500 pixels for the height and then just name it whatever you want i'm not going to name it anything specific and we're going to click create and then as you guys can see it gives us that now the first thing we always do as usual is click layer add image as layer and just find that template that you downloaded from the Google Drive again link in the description and as you guys can see the first thing I'm always going to do here is click on the three dots and click lock so I don't end up shifting that around at all so the first thing we're going to do before we even worry about getting like the cool magazine paper text and everything like that is actually we're going to make sure we get that render in now full disclosure I did not make this render I will actually leave a link in the description to the video where I found this render if you guys do want to go support them there are a bunch of other renders in that pack as well. So if you guys just want another cool render pack, make sure to go ahead and download them. They're really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get it in there. So we're going to go to layer. We're going to go to add image as layer, and we're just going to find that render. I saved it to my desktop, I believe. And here it is. And then it also should already be transparent. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the arrows up here, and we're going to drag it down a little bit. And then I think that looks about good there. We're gonna click off that. Now I'm gonna click on that render layer. I'm gonna go to adjustment and I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of contrast as always just to make it look a little bit cleaner. All right, so now that that's done, there's nothing else really I did to this banner other than add the text. So let's go ahead and just jump into that. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up another tab here and I'm gonna open up Pixlr again. And I'm going to go ahead and head to Pixlr E. So I'm going to go to create new and I'm just going to go to a random one like 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click create and then I'm going to go to layer, add image as layer. And I'm going to find the text documents that I did include. Again, link in the description for the Google Drive. And I will include these in there. And as you guys can see, it just opens up this whole entire thing. So now what you guys are going to do from here is find the letters that you need for your name. You can kind of size this down a little bit if you want. I can zoom in actually using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And I can zoom in, kind of get it where I want to. Say I'm grabbing this eye right here. I'm going to grab the lasso tool and this is key. Make sure you go up here to this top left part and you go to polygon lasso. This is the one that I use. Essentially, every time you click on a corner of this that I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to click on this corner right here and it's going to create kind of like a drop point. And as you guys can see, I can kind of drag this around wherever I want. So we're going to make sure it's clicked on that. If you guys mess up at all, just click again, create another point. Uh, click again, create a third point, and then just click back to the original position and just go to select, deselect, and that's kind of just how you like start over from scratch. So essentially, just make sure you clicked again on that polygonal lasso, click on the corner, and then click on the corner again to create another point, click on the other corner to create another point, and then click on that final point right there and then just click back to where you started. And as you guys can see, it creates a selection. After you guys are done, just make sure you go to the magazine layer over on the right side. Make sure you're selected on it. And as you guys can see, all you have to do is go to edit and go to cut and it's going to cut it out. All you have to do is scroll back to your other tab. As you guys can see right here, I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna go to paste. 
and I'm gonna allow this, and then it's actually just gonna paste it right in here, and I can kind of rotate it and move it however I want, make it bigger and or smaller. Now, yes, I do apologize if you guys have a long name. Obviously, mine is only three letters, so it was fairly quick for me to cut it out and kind of just toss it in. But for all you guys who have a super long name out there, I really do sincerely apologize. It might take you a little bit, but if we go ahead and look at the final version of mine, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, as you guys can see, I just kind of tossed the three in there. I didn't really add any like effects or like color behind them. But in the future, if you guys want like a full tutorial on how to make like really cool magazine text, I would love to do one. And that's pretty much it. After you guys get your text on there, all you have to do is go to file and go to save and then make sure to again name it whatever you want and drag the quality all the way up to 100% very key. Double check that the width is 1500, double check that the height is 500 and you guys will be fine for Twitter. A lot of people do ask me for YouTube versions as well for these kind of tutorials. So make sure to go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see a YouTube version of this. And I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. I'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.